six rounds. No compromise. Any questions? Didn't think so. Magnum revolvers are a powerful class of weapons that see frequent use in games. A step up from other sidearms, they hit hard and take no prisoners. So, why do some still prefer revolvers to semi-automatic pistols? Why are they associated with powerful Magnum cartridges? And did I fire six shots or only five? The basic principle of a firearm is very simple. A projectile, some propellant, and a vessel to contain and direct its ignition. The only difficult part is reloading. One solution was to have more than one barrel. Early volley guns fired multiple shots at once, increasing the odds of hitting a target. This idea was implemented on a smaller scale with handheld pepper box revolvers. Fired sequentially, with its barrels hand rotated to ready the next shot. One key disadvantage of multiple barrels is the added weight, and so some designs stuck to a single barrel with a revolving chamber instead. The most influential revolving gun design was patented in 1836 by a man named Samuel Colt. Over the next few decades, Colt's designs and salesmanship ensured his success, and Colt revolvers would see extensive use throughout the American Civil War. Perhaps his most famous design is the Colt Single Action Army, the gun that won the West. By the 20th century, self-loading pistols that feed from magazines were perfected, and the greater capacity and faster reloads of magazines seemed like a logical upgrade. Revolvers can lay claim to greater reliability, however, and the time-tested designs stayed in fashion with die-hard fans. Auto-loading designs are less suited to feeding rimmed cartridges, and a longer casing can be more difficult to extract. So, revolvers found a niche with Magnum loads. The 357 Magnum round was introduced in 1934 by Smith & Wesson, kick-starting a new era of powerful handgun cartridges. A lengthened version of the earlier 38 Special, an increased powder load meant a far greater muzzle velocity. The new Magnum caliber was the most powerful handgun cartridge available at the time. A variety of powerful Magnum calibers followed, including one that would be immortalized in film. 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. Certainly one of the most iconic weapons in cinema's history, but oddly enough, Dirty Harry's Smith & Wesson Model 29 is not identified by name, only by calibre. This is often the case in games too, manufacturer and model left unspecified, even amidst a full arsenal of realistic weapons. Perhaps this is because most revolvers share similar appearance, or perhaps the power of a Magnum cartridge better defines the weapon. A signal of authority with a streak of rebellion. Chrome-clad or pristine-blued, large frame revolvers have an imposing on-screen presence. While exhibiting such power can often be vulgar, there is an air of refinement about a traditional six-shooter. A certain old-fashioned appeal that harks to a slice of order in a less civilized age. Cowboy, gentleman, or rogue, it doesn't matter who. The revolver always means business. Cut for a different caliber, they might be sidearms, but they're a tier above a typical semi-auto pistol. Games reflect this by amping up the damage. Where a regular pistol might take three to four shots, a revolver will need only one or two. This makes them a very powerful option, so of course they are often saddled with significant disadvantages in the name of balance. Ammunition is often scarce, and the recoil inevitably high, demanding good judgement and careful aim for the greatest success. For those who desire both power and precision, there is sometimes the option of a scope. Magnified optics extend the revolver's reach, and help bridge the gap between sidearm and primary weapon. 
While an unusual fit for a handgun, it does make sense. With so few rounds and better power retention at a distance, it's important to make shots count. A universal trait of powerful revolvers is their limited capacity. Usually six rounds, sometimes five, and rarely more. This reflects the real-life limitation of revolver designs, and also helps to forge a particular niche in games. Fewer rounds means more frequent reloads, and this can be dangerous, as inserting six rounds in the midst of combat is a gruelling process. Luckily, in most games the process is performed with the aid of a speed loader, permitting the refreshment of an entire cylinder in one fell swoop. Still slower than a semi-auto, the time spent reloading is a way to temper the revolver's power. This union of high damage, limited capacity and slow reloads make for the perfect high-risk, high-reward option. A weapon that transcends its traditional era and defies those who would label it obsolete. It doesn't shy away from unconventional theatres. You'll see six shooters in space on a far-flung future world, tackling waves of zombies out for blood, or roaming the wasteland of a nuclear apocalypse. It doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter when. The only constant is an awful amount of power, all contained in a pocket-sized package. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Power without question. Authority without asking. A high-caliber option with a long history. Celebrated in cinema and revered in games. The Magnum Revolver. Wheel gun. Hand cannon. Man stopper. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, farewell.